Tension erupted today in the hallways of the Cobb County Courthouse moments after a judge declared a mistrial in a murder case. Channel 2's Ross Cabot live in Marietta with how angry jurors say one of the 12 refused to deliberate with the rest of them. Yeah, that's right. And after uh, the mistrial was declared in the Cobb County Courthouse behind me, some angry words exchanged in the hallway. People were detained for a while, but nobody was arrested during that confrontation. Uh, the judge declared a mistrial after uh, members of the jury made it clear that they were deadlocked 11 to 1. Uh, after deliberating over three days, finally indicating that one juror simply would not look at the evidence with the rest of them. And that leaves me with no choice but to just declare a mistrial on the matter. After deliberating over parts of three days, the jurors let the judge know their 11 to 1 deadlock would not be broken. Prosecutors immediately let it known they want to retry Javin Andrews for the 2010 murder of cab driver Ricardo Francois. His family had traveled from other countries and parts of this country to attend this trial. The quick end left them and the 11 jurors who voted for conviction angered. I'm sad. I'm frustrated. I'm sorry for the victim's family that we didn't do the job that we should have done. Bonnie King is the one juror who'd speak on camera. She told me 11 jurors relatively quickly agreed the evidence was overwhelming, pointing to Andrew's guilt in the murder. But we had one juror who just would not reason, would not listen to reason, would not discuss the facts. Um, she didn't like the law. She had a feeling. Other jurors told me they thought that one juror's mind was made up even before they started deliberations. Bonnie King says this does not necessarily mean the system is broken, but... If you're going to serve on a jury, that you really do have to abide by the judge's instructions and follow the law, whether you like it or not, and deliberate honestly and, and openly and look at the facts. Well, that about says it all. The uh, judge said he would relatively quickly set a new trial date. They're going to retry this case all over from square one. In the meantime, both the one juror and the uh, family members of Ricardo Francois were escorted out of different ex exits of the county courthouse under deputy guard. We're live in Marietta. Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News.